Well, hello and welcome. Well, this is Nate, and I got this 1600 square foot home that when you walk in, you would think you were in like a 2000 square foot home. Let me tell you, the living room and the den in this, and the kitchen, the way this is all laid out, it makes it feel like a really large home. I really like the colors they used. These uh, green and white, and then kind of a cream color over here. I was kind of looking at this trim right here. It's kind of a different styling of trim, the way they've done uh, kind of the living room area of the entranceway there. And let me apologize for the road noise. I'm not sure how this camera's picking that up because this is only the second day I've ever used it as far as filming the homes. And we are at Solitaire Homes here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. So this is the model E2860. As I said, it's a 1600 square foot home. It is uh, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Point out right here, that's obviously your back door. There is your water heater access on the outside of the home. It is in the utility room, so you, it's not going to be in a closet. Just real quick on the back side here, we've got some windows. I believe that one down at the far end there is going to be above the sink. Now let's, uh, I guess I, this one I could actually come all the way around on. The last one was a little bit close. It was hard to get in on, so. Go ahead and head on in. So now that we have successfully shut out the majority of the road noise, you can see this is a pretty open floor plan. You know, there's your den, your dining room, the kitchen, the living room area here. I kind of wanted to show you what it looks like when you first walk in. So really large living room. Now I didn't get the dimensions on it. Uh, right off the floor plan when I was looking at it, but uh, as I said, 1,600 square foot. <laughs> Look at all the space you've got for living areas. And the color of flooring that they used in here really adds to the brightness and the overall feel of large in the home because there is no power in this home so all the light that you're seeing that is natural light coming in now you've got lots of light fixtures in your kitchen so you'll have a ton of light in here when you get this home set up and delivered in your area Now they went with the darker colored cabinets. I believe this is called the ash color. Now they are all solid wood cabinets. No press board, no none of that kind of stuff. Get one more down here, this great big one. Here, let's get a little more light in the kitchen for us. There we go. Now we got more light in the kitchen.
There was so much light coming in, I didn't realize that that one was closed or I would have opened it before I started filming. <laughs> we got our coffee bar. Now this is the standard on the appliance package, the frigid airs, the just standard black two doors. The other option that you can get is the stainless steel frigid air or the uh, gunmetal gray stainless steel frigid airs. And from my understanding, that is only a $400 option to upgrade to the stainless steel ones. So definitely worth, in my opinion, upgrading to the stainless steel and having the more luxurious looking appliances, I guess you could say. We do have the standard corner pantry. Of course, they've got some plastic in here, but all the shelving you'll see in this home is going to be the wood shelving. In solitaire homes, that is a standard. They do not use any of the wire racks. So overall, it's not the smallest of kitchens it's not the biggest of kitchens but everything is well laid out you've got your stove and your sink so easy access to both lots of counter space perfect size island for the kitchen and then it just flows right into this extra large dining room area And you've got a little bit of a wall separating on each side to kind of separate out that area and just to break things up so it's not just one big long wall. Now imagine how big of a table you could put in here. That is one large table that you could fit in that area. And then our den, I mean, set it up as a kid's play area. I believe this home even has an option for a fourth bedroom. So now if you were to option in the fourth bedroom, It's a great big den area, lots of light. You know, and they've got the, instead of your standard vinyl blinds, these are a faux wood with the extra wide um, dividers, I guess you call them. <laughs> Now as we come into the utility room, here is your electrical panel. Water heater is in this corner. The access was right outside there. And you've got your washer and dryer hookups right there. And this electrical outlet is far enough away from where your washer is going to go that you could put a freezer in this space right here. Now into the guest bedrooms. Now these are the only rooms that feel a little on the smaller side. The 
in the bedrooms, you've got one, two, we've got three and four outlets. I know sometimes you guys want to know how many outlets are in the bedrooms. Oh, we got a closet packed full of trim supplies again. So I'll just be real brief on that one. In the other bedroom, I believe these feel to be the same size. Once again, a bunch of stuff in the closet, so we'll just kind of give you a quick pan around in there. So I can't shut that one, they've got it banded open. Oh yeah, we can't forget the bathroom. <laughs> so in your bathroom here, no, I can't open the lower cabinet. So hello, Raiden. The single piece shower tub combo. Now you've only got the transom window up above and no that one does not open. And now we will come down to the primary bedroom. Oh yeah, I forgot to point out the crown molding. Now this one has it looks like four inch crown molding and then just uh, one and a half inch molding across the bottom there. Now I just got done filming a 2,624 square foot double wide and the guest bedrooms were as big as this primary bedroom. <laughs> now I'm not saying that this room is small by any means, but the rooms in that other one were just ginormous. <laughs> so now as we come into the primary bathroom here, we've got a stack of drawers and you've got the chrome fixtures on your sinks so you got a transom window above your shower and then a one over one right here that opens up a lot of space in the bathroom here You only got the shower in here. I believe there's an option for a tub. Now I know that at the plant that this home was built at, they do not have the option for the tile as of yet. That is something that is in the works and they're saying probably a year to two years, they will have that option available. So here is your linen closet in your bathroom. And then behind me here, of course, we've got the toilet. But then we've got the closet. Now in your closet, you've got the dual racks and then the single rack. Just uh, leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this home. What kind of upgrades would you like to see? And uh, while you're there, make sure you hit the like button, that subscribe button, the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload videos. And I will be back with some price information shortly. Thanks for watching. Well, hey, I made it to the end. And we have successfully toured another home. 
Of course, not that you can see much with that black screen right there. But uh, anyway, I bet now y'all are looking for that price information on this home. <laughs> so this is a solitaire home. This was 1,680 square foot. This was called, this is part of the Emerald series. So there, you know, they've got various different series and, you know, some are more expensive than others. You know, some are a little more entry level. This one kind of falls in the in-between section. This is kind of your mid-priced area. The price on it is actually really, really good on this one. 1,680 square foot, full tape and texture, you know, optional fourth bedroom. Now, of course, price is going to go up if you make it a fourth bedroom. Now, I don't have the actual price for this one. All I've got is the starting price. So, but with that said, in Fort Worth, Texas, you know, this was filmed in uh, October of 2023. So, keeping that kind of stuff in mind, you can go order this home from Solitaire Homes in Fort Worth, Texas, starting at $120,000. That's right. 1,680 square foot tape and texture for that price. That's a steal. But you know, I should steal your way into the comment section down there and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the home. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.